Welcome back to another Ken's Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing another video. Today's video is going to be a fishing video. I know this has been a long time since I've did an actual fishing video where I go out and catch fish. But the footage I'm about to show y'all is from when I went fishing Thursday um, and caught some nice fish. I caught a few bass, some bowfin, and a couple red breast sunfish. But before we get into that footage, I want to tell y'all about my new sponsor, TTG Lures. Um... They have an Instagram uh, account if y'all want to go follow them on Instagram. Um, it's TTG Lures. I have the link down in the description below. Go check them out on Instagram. And they have a website where y'all can buy their baits. And I have a code down in the description below where y'all get 10% off. So make sure y'all go check them out. Buy some lures. They got crawls, ribbon tail worms, hooks, uh, senkos. Got all kind of cool soft plastics, so make sure you go check them out. That's my first sponsor. But yes, go ahead and get into this fishing video. And I'll be doing a little bit of talking at the end of the video, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. To another Ken's Outdoors, and I just made it to the fishing spot, so I didn't even cut on the camera. And I'm done caught one on the live target frog. This is the smaller version. I'm going to go ahead and get the hook out of him and get the release. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I just walked up here. I had about a 45 minute walk. And look over here. Uh, look what I see over here. Goes a turtle crossing the road. Hope I can get there before he makes it to wherever he's going. Goes a little turtle right there. A really small turtle. Looks like a baby snapping turtle. Yes, yeah, a baby snapping turtle. So don't want to put my hands or fingers anywhere near his mouth. So I'm going to just grab him and throw him in here because I'm pretty sure that's where he was going. Go ahead and get the release on him too, I guess. But I'm going to keep fishing here and see if I can't catch another fish. Update, I've had two more blow-ups on the frog, but they didn't get it. One of them, I don't know how big he was. The other one was a pretty nice fish, about a pound. But I had about two two bass that was two or three pounds they were swimming together i would say one of them was about three because he was bigger than the other and the other one was about two pounds come up to the frog and look at it but they swam away so i'm thinking about changing up top water lures i don't know i might throw the frog a few more times see if i can't get a couple more bass on it but if i do switch up it's probably going to be to a top water par popper and after that to a senko because i've caught a bunch of bass out of this little place on senko so Gonna we'll keep fishing see if we can't catch another one. Just caught a nice bowfin on a rubber worm. As y'all can see here, he's trying to get away. I'm trying to get a hand, hand on him so I can get the release here. A nice little bowfin. I'm trying to get a good shot of him before I release it. As y'all can see, a nice little bowfin there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the release on him. that was a frog jumping so I know there's frogs here I just couldn't catch nothing on the frog so I switched up to a little rubber worm um, ribbon tail and at the end of this video I'll show y'all what I caught all the fish off of but that right there is what I caught him on hung him right over there he hit it when I was uh, moving it so keep fishing see if we can't get us another fish nice red breast sunny here um, I believe these fish are bedding because there's a bunch of beds over here and on the other side of the um, little ditch. What well, All this is is a canal or ditch, whatever you want to call it. But they're bedding in here. And I've been catching a lot of them over the few days. I just haven't been recording or didn't have nobody to record for me. Which, I don't have nobody to record for me right now. But I'm supposed to be going to get one of my cousins to come back with me in a little bit. So, I should have somebody to record. And that was a nice red breast right there. And he's sitting right there. That's just a absolutely magnificent fish you should just see them in the water they look so just elegant but i'm gonna start back fishing here see if we can't catch us a few more fish before we move on to the next spot to the new spot and i've been fishing for about 30 minutes i've caught a few brim but they was little i just caught a little chain pickerel here well, i didn't know they was in here so that's another species i can add to my list to send this little ditch get a release on him but yeah, a man had told me they were in here, but I like to see for myself. But yeah, so we know chain pickerels in here. And I'll tell y'all at the end of the video what all species I've caught out of here so y'all can know. But yeah, I'm going to keep fishing see if I can't catch another fish. 
Nice little red brist sunfish. Caught him off of his bed down there. I believe there's a few more down there, so I'm gonna see if I can't catch them on this beetle spin. Caught another bass here. I threw it right down there in that pocket in between them two moss patches, and he hit it like a top water bait. As soon as he hit the water, he milked it. Go ahead and get the release on him here. Keep fishing, get us another fish. Nice little bass here. I caught a nice bowfin today, but I didn't get to get footage of him, but I got a picture of him, so I add that into the video. But I'm about to get the release on him. Go ahead and get the release on him here. So I'm all fine, so get to you when I catch the next fish. Okay, so yeah, that's the footage from where I went fishing Thursday, like I said. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Sorry I couldn't get the fish catches on camera. Um, unfortunately, I was by myself, so I couldn't do it, but... I'm supposed to go back fishing Tuesday. I don't know whether I'm going Monday or Tuesday um, back with Hunts Fishing. If y'all have been watching my channel, if y'all have been a long time subscriber to my channel, y'all should know who Hunts Fishing is. He don't do his channel anymore. He quit YouTube. But he'll probably be going fishing with me. And I caught most of those bass on um, Cinco's. The bass and the uh, red breast, I caught them on um, beetle spins. But most of the bass, I caught them on these Cinco's right here that came in this yum, this yum kit. Um, that's the yum dinger, and I think it's a four inch and like watermelon seed or something. But yeah, I did go fishing today, and I caught a few fish. But something I want to show y'all is today when I went fishing, I caught a bass, and when he hit the spinner bait so hard, he knocked the spinner off. This is a Strike King spinnerbait. I had just bought it from Gander Mountains like a couple days ago. Right now it's Saturday. I went fishing today. And like I said, a bass hit it so hard he knocked the spinner off of it. So yeah, he hit it extremely hard. I'll put a picture of him on the screen right now. But yeah, he, he wasn't even a big bass. I reckon he just hit it so hard. But I don't know. I only paid like $2 for it. So yeah, can't complain really. But... Another thing is I went to Walmart the other day and I've been trying to save money so I can buy me some stuff off a of tackle warehouse and I got to get a net because I had a nice pickerel get off in a swamp the other day. Um a pickerel about this big right here. I put a picture in the I put a picture in the video right now of some pickerel I caught out of the same swamp a few years ago. So yeah, put it on screen right now. The pickerel was about that big and he got off right at the boat as I was like trying to lift him up and he the hook came out of his mouth and I was just so depressed about that but I'm saving up money to buy me a net and I'm gonna get some other stuff off tackle warehouse I was fishing with this um that most of the day then I switched to that and caught a few fish off of it until that bass he didn't knock the spinner off of it and like I said I was at Walmart the other day and I picked up these ribbon tails out the one one ninety six um clearance thing the box they have down there with the uh, soft plastic for 196 these are some good looking ribbon tails i figured i'd go ahead and pick them up uh it was kind of an impulse buy and the other week i meant the other day when i went to gander mountains i also picked up these fat albert grubs and cotton candy also impulse buy i mean just look at them i think i'll catch some pickerel off these i had a few both in hit them today when i was in the swamp a fishing but yeah this is going to be the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, and what's inside of my tackle box part 2 will be coming up. Um, well, no, I'll probably post what's inside of my tackle box part 2 after this video. Um, it'll probably be a few days after this video. And the A and Q will be after that. Then I'll post um, another fishing video probably. So, got some good things coming to the channel this summer. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, make sure y'all subscribe, turn notifications on, like this video, and like I said, go check out TTG Lures. Uh, I have all the links to their Instagram, to their website where you can buy lures, and the code to use to get 10% off. But this is going to be the end of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time, hope you have some good fishing.